All right, so now I'm interested in comparing beaches. So let's compare Max Hug values across beaches. Okay. So <clears throat> one way to do that is to pick a couple of beaches that you're interested in and filter the data for site is either let's say Kuji or Bondi. So the way to do that is we can take our theme beaches data and we want to filter site. Now when we want to say either Kuji or Bondi, we use this percent in percent operator. And then we want to create a essentially like a list the C function creates a vector that contains, um, in this case, we're going to make it contain two items, that is Kuji or Bondi, right? And so what this is doing is taking our clean beaches data, filtering it into, piping it into a filter function that is looking for instances where the site is either Kuji or Bondi and leaving all the other beaches out. Let's see if that works. All right. Now, from that little preview, I can't tell, right? So sometimes you want to just create, have it create a new thing in your environment so that you can check that it's done what you want it to do. So let's call this Kuji Bondi. Move it again. All right, so this thing called Kuji Bondi. And at the top of the list, we have Kuji. And I'm assuming, what's a Kuji? Oh, there we go. Down the bottom, we have Bondi. All right. So now that we have Kuji and Bondi, what we could do is just add another pipe and say, I want you to arrange the data in descending order by beach bugs. Now, um, what has that done? No. Um, range, arrange by beach bugs. Ah, you know what? Because we're saying that we want to assign the output of this to this Kuji Bondi thing, I think it may not be putting it down the bottom in the console for us. It may be putting it over here, right? So let's check. Here we go. So yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. So you can see here that we have values from Kuji and Bondi, and it's somewhat disturbing that only two of the top 10 most extreme values come from Bondi, the rest are from Kuji. There's a reason why Kuji has a reputation for being called Puji, but let's not go there. All right, so Kuji looks like it could be dirtier than Bondi. All right, let's check. I just want to do a little experiment and check that that's why it wasn't appearing in the console. So if we um, if we take our, we'll just take that assignment off the front and we'll just take our clean beaches, filter it for either Kuji or Bondi, and then pipe that into an arrange function. Like that, ah, uh, there you go. All right. So when you have something that you're assigning it to, then the output doesn't appear in your console. It just is assigning it to a new thing in your environment. Um, if you aren't assigning it to a new thing in your environment, the output appears in your console, but it's temporary. It doesn't stay there. Um, it's only there until you do the next thing. Okay, so one way to look at whether Kuji is grosser than Bondi is to sort the beach bugs um, values from highest to lowest, um, looking just at Kuji Beach and filtering the data for Kuji Beach and Bondi Beach first. 
and seeing that actually in the top 10 values, only two of 10 come from Bondi. The other way is to you start using the summarize function. So summarize is really handy because when you use it in combination with group by, you can get summary statistics, including maximum, minimum, mean, median, um, broken down by groups. Right? So let's say that we want to take our plain beaches data and we're going to um, filter it and we want to look at sites that are in this vector that we're creating that contains Fiji Beach and Bondi Beach. And then rather than arranging, what I want to do is I'm going to um, have it summarize the maximum values, but I wanted it to do that separately for each site. And so you can use group by site. So we're going to take our Clean Beaches data, filter it for just Koji and Bondi, and then group by Koji and Bondi separately before we get a summary using the summarize value. Now, summarize function. So summarize will summarize all basic statistics, mean, max, min, median. So let's, um, let's get them all. So I'm particularly interested in maximum values. So if we want to go, we want to create a um, summary that is the maximum values and we can say that equals and you um, say that we're going to create this new thing called max bugs by getting the maximum, this is a function, of the beach bugs column. Right? And then you just put a comma, it's easier if you start a new line so that you can just list them out and you can get your next summary. So let's say that I want, um, I want the mean bugs. And let's go um, standard deviation two. Okay. Oops. Get to SD. Okay, now. What is this thing telling us? Missing an argument to function call. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. Let's see whether this runs. Uh oh, oh dear. Ah, I know what's wrong. Okay, so the summarize um, doesn't work well when you are missing values. So when there are NAs in your data, it doesn't really know what to do. So you have to explicitly tell R to remove the NAs from what it's trying to summarize. And you can do that just by adding in here, say NA and RM equals is like remove equals true. So if we add NA RM was true to each of these, that little warning triangle goes away, which is a good sign. And if we run that, da da da, da excellent. All right, so you can see what it's made here is like a little two by four table that separately by site, so we asked it to group by site, it gives us the max bugs, mean bugs, and the standard deviation for Bondi and Kuji separately. Now, if we hadn't put that group by site in, let's do a little experiment and see what that does. We'll take out that line and just run that instead. It would just give us the max and mean and standard deviation across 
this filtered um, subset of data set. So it, this is the maximum um, mean as deviation for just Koji and Bondi. Um, but if we put group by fan, group by site, it will give us, let me add another pipe. So we are taking our beaches data, filtering it for Koji and Bondi, piping that into a group by, piping that into a summarize that gets these three summary statistics. If we run that, we get separate summary statistics for each beach, right? So here we know that um, it looks like both in terms of extreme values and mean values, um, Koji is worse. Now we know that the mean is often um, adversely influenced by extreme values. So let's just add a line and see um, if the median bugs. And a remove equals true. All right, and we'll add a line and it'll give us, yeah, median is still a bit higher. All right, so Koji is definitely worse than Bondi. Now, what we can do, we could get that, um, those summary statistics across all of the beaches just by taking out this filter line, right? So this filter line is has subset of the data down to Koji and Bondi. But if we got rid of that line and ran it again, then it would give us each of these summary statistics for each beach in the data frame.